Hello, Mary here to show my latest project. This is it here. Doesn't look like very much from there, does it? But in fact, it's a super little cabinet with space for some very tiny mini albums here and a couple of drawers at the bottom. I bought this as a kit from Claire at My Creative Spirit. That's the name of both her blog and her YouTube channel. Um, and she sells this as she sold this as a kit uh, with the flat pack MDF pieces. This is the tiniest flat pack I've ever built, and a selection of papers from the Graphic Forty Five Mother Goose collection. Uh, Claire's the UK ambassador for Graphic Forty Five, and she appears quite often on the Create and Craft TV channel. Uh, She's one of my favourite designers and this is the third, maybe the fourth of her designs that I've made up. And I can tell you this was a lot of fun to do, easier than it looks. And it, I, I'm very happy with how it's come out. The covering papers are this yellow and red polka dot design and it covers the top, the sides with a bit of fussy cutting. Because it's the Mother Goose collection, of course, it's got a nursery rhyme theme and here's Humpty falling off his wall. I hope he's going to have a soft landing in these lovely flowers. And if I hold the albums in, I'll be able to show the back. It's got quite a, a big piece of very easy fussy cutting, but a nice bright effect with um, Mary had a little lamb heading off to school and various other characters in there. And on the other side, here's Mother Goose herself flying through the air in her basket and ready to tell her, her nursery rhymes. The red and yellow polka dot paper also is, is also covering the inside and gives a nice finished look. And the drawers are covered in a contrasting black and gold polka dot with these handles, clever little trick made from buttons. And I Got the, the buttons came as part of the kit with the instructions of how to do that. Lovely effect on that. So what's in the what's in the albums? There's only enough pa papers in the kit to do three mini albums, but I've managed to make four by using some other papers. When Claire did it, she had something down the the spine, a little decoration down the spines. But I actually like just the effect of the paper, so I've left mine plain. Each tiny album has four pages and it follows a pattern. In this one the right hand page, I've got to be careful with that, I'm not good at my rights and lefts, uh, has a, a pocket going up and down. I've put one of the cut aparts from the papers in there just to show that. And one of the smaller cut aparts from the collection which uh, has only been glued down two sides so something else can be fit in here. On this one I've made a little fancy shape pocket and something else could go in there, a photograph or, or some writing. And on this side there's a, a horizontal pocket. Again, room for a photograph in there. I changed Claire's design a little bit to make it pocket pages and in each pocket I've got a little um, booklet, I suppose, um, tag booklet with space for journaling and photographs. And that slides nicely into there. And that's the pattern for this album. On the right hand side, the pocket and the cut apart pocket. The horizontal pocket on the left hand side. Some Flowers uh, cut apart from one of the, the fancier of the papers in the collection. Must be more careful to lay this flat. Um, so here we have again the horizontal pocket, the little space behind the cut apart. I beg your pardon, this must be a vertical pocket because this left hand one is the, the horizontal pocket. Um, 
Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is, is a major theme of this. I think whoever designed this, that must be their favourite nursery rhyme because it appears more often than, than anything else. It's what's on this black and gold paper that I've used as end papers. It's the theme of the stars and here it is again on this one, the little boy in his bed looking up at the star. Five cents. I wonder how when postage last costs so little. And finally, the last horizontal page and the little fancy pocket at the back. That's album number one. All the al albums fit that kind of pattern, but I've made them slightly different for each one. The green one has got a garden for a postcard. Um, Mary Mary, quite contrary, how does your garden grow? This one has got a magnetic flap on the right hand side and I've made a little tag to decorate that. I've made this tiny uh, tag here with one of my very first Sizzix dies and decorated it with a bit of fancy cutting from the paper. Underneath the flap there's a little keeper here which will take, oops, uh, not that it matters, I'm just using this to show um, take a little bit of uh, a little photograph or some journaling there. And the right hand pages here, I've made a little belly band and used one of the stamps from the collection as the keeper for holding whatever goes in there. This one, this booklet also has the little journaling photomat booklets. And that's, oh no, I haven't, this, this, um, this album has got a diagonal pocket for the left hand page. Using the stamps a lot, it's one of the things I like about Graphic 45 is they, they have stamps as a theme in a lot of their collections and they make a very nice little decorative element for the mini albums. So here we go, varying it, we're varying the, the patterns, this page has got oranges and blacks. Um, so here's a little magnetic page with a tag, a little keeper here, and the belly band with the, the, the stamp keeper. Uh, yellows and greens for this page with a little black to offset it. Um, don't the colours all work beautifully together? And here's one of the the pieces of music in that paper. And the final one of these, the magnetic page, the belly band, and the last diagonal pocket. You can't see it because she's out of focus, but last week I rescued a, a 10 month old puppy and she's just climbed up onto the table beside me. So I don't know quite what's going to happen. She's only been with us for a week and she's settling down, but she's still got a bit to go. She's three quarters Jack Russell and a quarter Chihuahua, so she's quite small. Let's carry on and see what happens. The decoration on the front of these, um, these mini mini albums are part of the cutter parts, parts, a little postcard. This one's got Mary Mary quite contrary. I do love the little flowers and that blue and red colouring of this. So here we go, a blue page to begin with. And again, a little fancy, fancy shaped pocket in the corner to, to hold a photo or, or some journaling. Oh, and these, I don't know if you can see it very well. Um, I've just bought some little buttons. They came from China via eBay. Lovely little things, I bought stars and hearts and, and flowers. And I just love them and they make a lovely little decoration on the page. The right hand pages in this album have got a pair of diagonal pockets with a little bit of uh, fussy cut flowers around the edge. Uh, and that holds, as you can see this, this cut apart is actually a bit too small for the page but it still holds it in quite nicely. And here's 
a little booklet. I tried to match each of these to what's on the page. A lot more difficult as I was working my way down the flower, sorry, down the papers. Um, here's an orange and red page. Oh, and the, the back has got just a little um, vertical pocket to hold whatever you would like either way. The photographs for this are going to be quite small but varying in size obviously. Here's one of the little flowers of the little painted buttons. Isn't it gorgeous? And with a little judici judicious choosing I managed to get colours that matched quite well. Uh, a re red flowers to match the red page. And this is a floral page and I've used this spotty paper again because it may well be one of my favourites out of that collection. This is the paper that I used for cutting, fussy cutting the flowers. Uh, it was quite hard to actually use a piece of backing paper there but uh, couldn't cut it all up could I? And here we go again, a blue page with a twinkle twinkle little star and the pocket and the corner pockets. I rather like that effect, I haven't used it before. I might definitely use it again. And the back page, a bit of yellow to give us a bright finish. You see this little pocket, it's up the wrong way. I cut it the wrong way around but you What's it? They, they say any mistake is a as a design opportunity. I thought I quite like that too, going up the other way rather than the, the more horizontal effect that I usually do. And that's all the mini albums using the Mother Goose paper. Uh, before I go away from that, uh, the kit came with, and here comes the puppy, not quite in camera, but you might see a shadow going past. Um, it came with some, a few sheets of 12 by 12 papers and this book of 8 by 8 papers. So I wanted to show a tip that I saw on YouTube recently and I'm very sorry for the lady, a Canadian lady I think, uh, whose idea was, I've forgotten what she's called, but I've started using it with everything I do. She uses old envelopes and she sticks them in the back of her... Uh, her pads and uses it to, to hold together all the scraps from there. I've got a few pages left and that's enough to do something else with especially since I've got all these scraps. And it's a super idea. She actually uses old envelopes. I've used just a, a silly bag. Oh here's Puppy's nose. Hello Puppy. I think we'll have to put you down on the floor. Okay here we go. Off you go. So there's, there's a bit of paper left, but I wasn't sure if there was enough to do a whole other booklet. But what I did have was some leftover Bohemian Bazaar. Also a paper collection from Graphic 45. And the colours match quite well. So I've used that for my final mini mini album. Um, I had not only the papers for this collection, but I had some of the chipboard uh, embellishments. Gorgeous as that. And look how well it ties in with the red and blue flowers with the mother goose. So I'm happy with this. So what I've done with this one is... Um, this is one of the little envelope pockets that come with the Bohemian Bazaar collection. And this is a page with a, a belly band. I should rescue my, here's a strip of, of stamps from Mother Goose. But I've kept up with the little booklet with the, the journaling space, each one echoing the theme. Same paper if I had some, echoing if not. Again, little um, sideways pocket. I can use this. Let me pause for a moment. I had to stop the, the camera there for a moment because my dogs decided to set up a hullabaloo. There probably will be a little bit of, of barking on the, the previous bit. Uh, so they're safely
tucked away in another room, so let's try and get this finished. Um, first page red, next page I've done blue. Here's a little vertical pocket. I haven't said, probably everybody will recognise, that I've uh, decorated the, the edge of these pockets with the Martha Stewart doily, doily punch. Um, I don't think I'm the only person for whom that's the, the favourite punch. Aren't the colours in these papers gorgeous? And back we come. In this collection, there's a very similar red and yellow spotty paper uh, to the other one. Slightly fancier, but very similar effect. Just as nice, isn't it? Uh, so there's the belly band. Uh, there's a the little pocket. And here is the tag booklet. On this page it's yellow. That's the back of the, the red paper. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? This flower is a theme. And it's got a little cut apart inside with wish list. And finally back to the reds again. So I think that tones in reasonably well with the Mother Goose papers. It'd be better if that was the right way up, it would look slightly better, wouldn't it? And that gave me my fourth album and fitted in to the space. I did one more thing, I've left the bottom drawer, if I turn it around this way, empty, and that can take photographs or memorabilia or anything you like. But in the top drawer, I decided to make one more little booklet. Let's just see the inside of the drawers. For my first attempt at doing something like this, I'm very happy with how it's turned out. So I've made a little um, photo folio for this one. Um, for this, I have to credit Ginger at my sister Scrapper. It's one of my other favourite designers whose ideas I've used a fair bit. Uh, this is a totally different set of papers. Um, it's Hopscotch by Fancy Pants Designs. Here's a piece cut out. I've actually used a bit of the um, these pieces that show you what's inside. And I'm certainly going to use the, the stripy paper at the top. This is the same quality of paper as the papers in the collection, so it's useful. Now, I have to say that out of all the papers today, much as I love the Graphic 45, this one is my absolute favourite. It could be something to do with the fact that daisies are my favourite flowers. Made a big boob with this one. This was supposed to be the front cover. Um, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. Um, but I didn't check the inside before I stuck that on, so it's now a little back decoration and the front has got a swirly pattern. This uh, blue gingham is actually the back of, of this lovely flowery paper. And there's lots of little words with this one, so I've used one or two of them. And this one says wonderful. And it's very, very simple. A little pocket at the side saying my family. Um, little bookmark and just some odds and ends of papers left over from the sheets that I was using. Here's another view of this absolutely beautiful paper that I love so much with all the wildflowers on it. I think I'll stick it in the front. Yes, I also love this, uh, don't I love them all? Um, love this little orange uh, polka dot paper. Distressed look, lovely. So it's got this little pocket on one side and four little waterfall cards on the other. Um, I have put a couple of little keepers on each one from, from the collection. This is what I cut out of the cut cover sheet. I thought that would be nice there, make a change. And I've used the orange polka dot and this kind of very subtle stripy paper together. And that's all there is to it for that one. And it fits perfectly in the drawer. And that's my little cabinet. If you ever see this, Claire, I love it and have loved making it. Thank you so much. And thank you, anyone who's watching. <laughs>